I'm predicting that we have a ban list right around the corner, especially with this tier zero format that we're in. I would really like to get one sooner rather than later so we can have a fresh list going into Nats. Let's dive on into it, shall we? This is going to be juicy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I got that from White Boy 7th Street. It is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever living ban list boo boo stain of that like and subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher. At this point, the 1400 ladder, I'm literally just a couple subscribers away. I need someone to go make a couple alt accounts and just subscribe. <laughs> don't, don't do that. I think you'll get banned on YouTube for that. But I hope you all having a fantastic day. I really do appreciate all the support. Now, we got to talk about the balance. You're going to be seeing me look at my other monitor here because I've got it pulled up on the other screen. I just wish I could make it bigger. There we go. That's much better. That's what she said. Let's go ahead and just dive on into it. These are things that I hope happens. Obviously, I can't predict what Konami is going to do. They could just, you know, do what they did in the OCG several years ago. Fun fact, where the OCG said, hey, you're going to get a list on this date, which is something I wish the TCG would do. Take notes, Konami. You probably won't, but you should. Uh, where they said, hey, you're getting the ban list on this date. And then they said, hey, no changes. People will Pissed. Could you imagine if they did that to us after the YCS and Rally North Carolina? Hey guys, no changes. That would be hilarious. Hopefully that doesn't happen though, because we do need some hits. Now, let's go ahead and dive on into the ban section, what I think should be banned. First up are two cards that I think could also go to one if they don't ban them right out of the gate. Promethean Princess and Flamberge Dragon. I was talking with a buddy of mine yesterday, and he said, you gotta admit that when you look at Promethean Princess and Flamberge Dragon, those things are custom cards when you read their effects. And any deck that not only gets one custom card, but two, uh, though that deck needs to be hit. The cards need to be banned or something. I mean, like, you look at Link Cross, and that card even today in 2024, I would argue, is still a custom card. Same goes for Anaconda. I mean, uh, Promethean Princess and Flamberger are absolutely insane. Anything that can play like a fire engine can play Princess. And that really goes for every deck in the meta, because pretty much every deck in the meta right now can play Flamberge Dragon and Snake Eyes stuff, thus being able to play Promethean R Princess, Obama Whale, as I call it, uh, Appaloosa, all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, it needs to be taken out back and shot. Again, if they don't ban those cards, I could see them going to one. Next up is one that I've been calling for a couple years now since I came back to YouTube for like the 10th time over my 10 plus years of making videos. Terraforming needs to be banned. And I say this in every single banless discussion video, but people always say to me, you know, Avery, why ban terraforming? Terraforming went from three to one. And now, ever since then, every single deck, if you think about it, has access to four field spells. What deck right now in Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't have a field spell that, like, the archetype centers around? Hell, Snake Eyes has one. Sword Soul, I think, doesn't. Or if they do, then it's one that's, like, not an in-archetype card, but they have the ability to play a field spell. Sky Strikers have a field spell. Snake Eyes, Tempai Dragon have a field spell. Every single meta deck has a field spell of some kind, even if it's not played. Some decks have multiple, like Mana Diem or Tier Element has technically two in the form of Primeval Planet and then the other Tier Element one that's bad. But it's the fact that Terraforming gives you that extra access on top of whatever other cards in your deck that can possibly even search your field spell. You know, in Tempai Dragon, perfect example, not only are you playing Terraforming, but then you also have three copies of Baidora that lets you add or set a Sangin spell or trap, meaning you can get either the Quick Play, Sangin Kaiman, or you can get the field spell, Brimming Sangin Manor. So at that point, you're playing what? Three of the field spell, three Baidora, one Terraforming. You're playing seven copies of your field spell in a 40 card deck. That's just one example, but a lot of other decks can do that too. So I think banning terraforming, I think it's time to go. Next up here is, I feel like, two obvious ones, and then the last one here is maybe not as obvious. Shifter needs to be taken out back and shot. Everybody wants to mention Shifter ban. There are so many times I have played Shifter and it's an auto win. Like, I just, I play it, the opponent passes turn. Especially in Tempai Dragon that can play Shifter, they can OTK through a Shifter. It's insane. Whether you're playing Shifter against the deck or they're playing Shifter in their main deck or their side, whatever. Shifter is such a fucking auto win card. Like, I, I've been trying to teach my dad this because now he's moved on to stun now that he's done crying about Mystic Mind. He's like, I hate playing Shifter in my main deck because if I draw it after the fact, then it's bad, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yes, it's bad if you draw it after the fact or even if you already have cards in your grave. But you still play three of it in your main deck because it's such an auto win card. Like it's it's absolutely insane. It's worth it for that risk over reward 
to be able to just say, hey, in your draw phase, pitch shifter, and then the opponent just can't play, and then you can beat them. Like, it's such an unfair card. It's like Max C 2.0. Then, of course, King Calamity needs to be banned. Do I need to explain why? It doesn't literally doesn't let the opponent play cards. It, it needs to be gone. Last one here for the ban section is Beatrice, the not-so-obvious one. I was watching Solomon Yu-Gi-Oh! talk about the new Fiendsmith cards, how they can make easy access to rank 6s like Beatrice um, or whatever other rank 6 he mentioned. I can't remember off the top of my head, but he mentioned Beatrice and something else. Beatrice needs to go. Um, I feel like this should have gone when Kyrios got banned, um, but better late than never. I think Beatrice has had its time, whether it's been in Labyrinth or even just Burning Abyss back in the day. I think it's time for Beatrice to go, especially because of the fact it just dumps any card you want. I mean, hell, even Tears playing it now because you can just two, you can slam two Malicious together or any two level sixes and make it. Yeah, Beatrice needs to go. I, I feel like it's the new age lovable chain. It's just harder to get to because it's not level four or rank four. Excuse me. <laughs> Next up for the limited section, Prosperity needs to go to one. Uh, again, I was talking to my buddy about this. Shout out to Valley D. He's like, I don't think they're going to hit Prosperity. I really think that they should though because... You have to keep in mind that not only is it a card that's just excavates you any one of six and is basically a card that you kind of have to ash, but on top of that, Tempai Dragon can OTK through Prosperity cutting your damage in half. I've talked about that on the channel in my Yu-Gi-Oh! In-Depth video about it, shameless plug. Um, yeah, this card needs to go. It adds so much consistency to decks, especially decks that don't really care about their extra deck, like, say, Flunder. Flunder already kind of bricks on itself, even with how much consistency it can potentially have between Advent of Adventure, Duality, Prosperity, Extra, all that stuff. But I still think hitting it to one needs to be what happens. Keep in mind, too, we're getting a field spell in Legacy of Destruction called Where There's a Will, There's a Way Out. That's basically a Prosperity on crack. You activate it. Both players can use it similar to something like Chicken Game. But you excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of cards the opponent has on their field. So if they have 10 cards, you get to excavate the top 10 cards of your deck. You add any one of those cards to your hand, then the other cards you didn't excavate plus one card from your hand go on the bottom of the deck in any order. If the player who used this effect excavated nine or more cards, then all their opponent's cards on their field and in their grave get shuffled back into the deck. It's crazy. Can you imagine three prosperity with where there's a will? You get to excavate twice in a turn. That's fucking bananas. So putting it to one to kind of hurt that chance of something like that happening, I feel should happen. Next up here is, uh, of course, we got to be hitting fucking fire. Uh, wanted Seeker Sinful Spool needs to go to one. It's a Rota. Bonfire, same thing, needs to go to one. It's a Rota. The prices have been dropping like a rock, and I think that's because of the fact that, one, there's not really been a whole lot of events right now. All we have left is a couple YCSs, Nationals, and then Worlds in September. Um, so people are fire selling their stuff also because of the fact too that having a thousand dollars piled up or tied up in a deck is uh, is a big ask so the prices have been dropping like a rock wanted and bonfire both need to go to one and then another one here triple tactics talent now you're probably like avery triple tack is an answer to hand traps and i agree with that however the the choices it gives you are just getting so insane the longer that this card's in the meta. You know, you get punished for, you know, hand trapping a card to stop your opponent from comboing, and then you get punished by potentially losing a card out of your hand, or your opponent just draws two cards, and then they have the gas to beat you anyway. Or they opened up with enough extenders to where even one Ash, they just talents to rip a card out of your hand, get that knowledge, then they still have enough gas to build their board. I feel that talents really needs to be pulled back on. Make people rely more on things like cross out. Um, I don't think call by should go to two like how it is in the um, OCG. But I think putting talents to one, having called by at one, you can still use thrust to search for it. It's not really that big of a deal. There's still three thrusts on this list. And then, of course, you've got three cross out to out hand traps. So I, th I think it's kind of a fair hit in my opinion. Uh, of course, we got to hit Voiceless Voice. Um, Pre-Prep of Right and then the OG Preparation of Rights, I think both need to go to one. Preparation of Rights used to be at one a long time ago in Necroz format. Um, but now hitting both Pre-Prep and Prep of Rights to one, I think needs to happen. It'll kind of hurt the consistency of Voiceless Voice a little bit. I mean, right out of the gate, it's been a really solid deck. So I think it's about time. It just, it got clipped a little bit. Not terribly bad, but just let's kind of pull back it in a little bit. Um, next up here, Runic Tip. I've been saying Tip needs to go to 1 for the longest time. If we're not going to hit Fountain down to 1, you got to hit Tip to 1. It's three blank Runic cards for all intents and purposes. Yes, it's a once per turn, but being able to search you any Runic card is just absolutely incredible. That needs to go to 1. The whole Runic uh, deck just like 
we need to be hitting it more. Fountain to two does nothing. Um, and then two coming off the list, Saber and Boker. MX Saber and Boker and wind up carriers and Mighty. I feel like Zen Mighty could have come back 10 years ago and not done anything. And literally, it's just because they don't want people FTKing and hand looping with wind up Hunter. If you're that concerned about it, make it a hard once per turn with an errata or just ban it. Like, it's not a big deal. Uh, and then MX Saber and Boker, I don't really think Invoker will really affect the format in any way. So bringing both these back to one is fine. Uh, semi-limited, I don't think anything's going to be semi-limited. I do think some things are going to come back to three, though. Um, unlimited, I got Terra Top. This is um, for the Goblin Biker dog shit deck. Like, Goblin Biker's cute. It can top you a regional, maybe, but I, I just don't think the deck's all that good. I, I, I honestly think it's kind of degenerate because they put out one monster with, like, ten summons. They're maybe playing the Xyz Armor stuff, and, like, it, it's, it's just so asinine to watch that deck play. Um, next up here, if I could read this, yeah, tank, uh, Terra Top, and then my other two cards are Pankratops and Sky Striker Engage. I'm sure some people are going to freak out, like, oh my god, Avery, Pankratops back at three. It's meant to help support going second decks. Um, especially with Tempai Dragon coming here to the TCG, I feel that Pankratops to three is not necessarily something that's off the table. I think it's something that we could very much see, and it just helps with going second overall. Like, even if decks like Snake Eyes and Rescue Ace and all that are still really good, at least you have a dual-purpose card like Pankratops to help you break boards and, to, I mean, shit, to even pop the Fire King Island. I mean, it's, I think it's honestly a really good card to bring back to three. Um, and then, like I said, Engage. Sky Striker, what has Sky Striker even done this format? Like, once we got Phantom Nightmare, Sky Striker even topped anything? I think we can bring Engage back to three and make everybody happy. But, guys, these are just my thoughts on, like, what should be hit on the list. I really try to sit down and think about, like, a lot of things that should be hit um, or that could even come back. I mean, I think there's a lot of cards that are banned, too, that could maybe come back to one or two or something like that. But I feel that that's, like, a whole other video in of itself. I really don't want to mess with that. Um... But I think that these would be some really good hits, especially going into Nationals. Kind of give the format a fresh facelift, especially because, again, Snake Eye is just so tier zero and just so damn good. It really does need to see some hits, and I think that this would be a great step in that right direction. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.